What's going on, my kitsunes? It's your favorite retail tail fox, Foxy. Come back at you with a brand new episode of The Sims 2 Mall 621. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be building a couple of mall shops that you probably don't see anymore, obviously. And I'm going to give you a bit of a hint on what they are. One of them was, well, the one that I'm painting the sign up right now was actually a failed attempt to venture into retail by Microsoft. And the reason why I actually spent so long on this sign it was because I spent an embarrassing amount of time actually trying to find the paint for this. There was actually a um, correct paint that I was supposed to use. And I see, I think I see it in post-production now, right next to AMC Theaters. But because I've got my steering wheel blocking half the user interface, I don't think I really spotted it. So um, I do want to apologize for that because I spent a very embarrassing time on this too. And the other was bankrupted by a private equity firm. In fact, perfect time for me to say that because I'm right about to get to placing its sign. But of course, you know, I got to remember, oh yeah, I'm not in the full moon mall anymore. So I don't have to worry about adding on those extra, what was it again? Oh yeah, glass areas above the roof. And we also do plan an Apple store. I actually was going to initially get to an Apple store in this episode, but... I ended up not having the time to actually do so, so I do want to apologize for that. For anyone who thought they were going to see an Apple Store this episode, I just want to let you know that's going to be episode 11 out here. Probably going to see if I can get to the first Anchor Store for episode 11 too, since I get a little bit of extra free time right now, since we're still technically under a, um, I'm still technically under a mental health break for downtime, and my god is it a good thing I took one too, because dear god, the attempts to shut all my hard work down were getting quite extreme while I was at that stadium. Like, I, I, I'm just gonna say it right here and now too. Um, let's just say that um, some very smug people are basically flaunting directly to my face that they want to shut all my hard work down. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail out here because quite frankly, I think I've discussed this drama enough in the community tab. And quite frankly, we haven't really hit the amount of um, bumps or potholes I want to say they're really kind of necessary in order to shut this community down. So it's not really too big of a concern. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm just going to say it right now. We are afloat still. I'm just going to say it. Just going to say that right here now. So we are mostly okay. But at the same time, it is a little bit of frustrating out here. The actual situation at hand. But anyways, right now, we're currently working on the KB toys. I'm going to try to get back to the build right now. Because I'm really sidestepping around something that I know is going to cause drama in the comment section. And I really don't want to deal with said drama so yeah we're basically building the kb toys out here we're adding in a few pokemon sections out here and you already know we're going to be adding in some sonic stuff as well too i've actually got of course i kind of placed the tails down first i mean i'm a tails fan tails is kind of what brought me into the furry fandom in the first place out here so yeah of course i'm going to place them down first i also put down the fennec in first in the pokemon section as well because you know favorite starter out here again the whole starters um series here on youtube is actually what brought well it's one of the things that really kind of cemented my involvement in the furry fandom if we're if we're being realistically honest out here but i did end up having to swap the location for the um Leafeons and glaceons out here and if you were seeing why briefly for just a brief moment it's because the Leafeons, or no it wasn't the Leafeons. it was the flareons and the glaceons i had to swap locations for because the flareons Interestingly enough, they were trying to um, no clip through the actual wall to the Microsoft store, and I'm just sitting here. I'm like, bro, I can't have that. That looks like trash. I, I was willing to live with the um, fish things no clipping through because we could easily hide that with some Xbox shelves out here, which is actually what I ended up doing. But yeah, this Microsoft store that we're building right now actually does kind of look fantastic. I actually made sure to include Microsoft's like pretty much their entire main lineup at the time they were running the Microsoft Store. So it would be Xbox, original Xbox, and then Xbox 360, obviously. And I think what we did, I think what we also did was we included some legacy Xbox and Xbox games as well. Well, legacy Xbox and Xbox 360, I should say, because legacy Xbox has been legacy Xbox for quite some time. In fact, I'm 99% sure it's also gone retro. And I also made extra sure to include things like, you know, gaming PCs, laptops, and of course the Microsoft Surface, which if I recall correctly, did come out around the time the Microsoft stores were becoming a thing in your local shopping malls. Now, obviously Microsoft didn't open a ton of them. In fact, they actually closed all of them shortly thereafter, the Microsoft stores, because they really weren't panning out. Microsoft wanted to focus more on their um, online retail, I believe it was, which does make a, bit, a little bit more sense in today's market, you know? 
you want to focus on the online retail and cut down on the actual, like, you know, because it is cheaper. Let's be real. It is cheaper to set an online storefront than it is, like, you know, to have a physical retail location. You have to do physical retail maintenance and stuff like that. So I could see why Microsoft was trying to make this pivot out here. But at the same time, you know, the Microsoft stores were an experience much like any other shopping location. So not really sure why, like, you know, getting rid of them was a great... Well, I, I could say I, I, I know why Microsoft got rid of them. I know why they wanted to get rid of them. But at the same time, I would have loved to have experienced it myself. Because I think I've only been to the Apple store once when I was young. And that was visiting the fashion mall nearby me many, many, many years ago. In fact, it was it's one of only two in my U.S. state. And I'll tell you right now, that Apple store was an experience. Oh, and I actually forgot, they also sold the Windows Phone, Microsoft did, at the Microsoft store as well. At least I think they did. I will say the Windows Phone, yeah, um, I think I'll take an iPhone over a Windows. Even an iPhone would be better than a Windows Phone, being realistic. Because at least an iPhone does a blue screen of death every two seconds out here. Yeah, that's what I need right now, my Windows Phone blue screening like it's my PC. And trust me, I've had my fair share of PC or um, blue screens using this PC out here. It's not fun. Microsoft is no cakewalk to walk around with. And right now, they really seem to be making some very questionable decisions. Like, I don't know, not releasing an alternative to the critically panned Windows 11 at this point. I, I'm already considering switching over to Linux Mint myself out here. I just love how this is now turning to a massive roast on Microsoft out here. I promise, I do love Microsoft. There are some Microsoft products I do love. I, I wish they'd bring back Mixer to some degree, but at the same time, I, I kind of have it better here on YouTube if we're being realistic right about now. But anyways, we're kind of getting to the kiosks over here. Now, obviously, I planned on doing some things with the kiosks out here. I think I was originally going to do a um, popcorn kiosk, and I might do a popcorn kiosk a little bit later, because I know in the AMC theaters, it kind of took me, I don't know, forever to actually find the popcorn machine, kind of like when I was building... This is when I was building the Full Moon Mall in particular. I think the most recent episode where I was finishing that. Or no, there was one episode after that. But yeah, the Full Moon Mall. When I was finishing that, I was trying to find this um, popcorn thing. Yes, I'm also adding the same seating I'm using in the rest of the hallway for this mall, by the way. I do want to be perfectly clear on that. But um, yeah, I was trying to find the popcorn machine. And it was just hidden away in the decorations menu. I don't know why it was hidden so much out there, but... Apparently it was, but anyways, we're starting to get some of these vending machines out here. And yes, I did put down claw machines, ATMs, vending machines too. Eventually, I did decide I wanted to put down the Coca-Cola and Pepsi machine. And I'm like, wait, I can make this a drinks kiosk. Oh, that's right. I was making it a burger kiosk at first, but I wanted to make a drinks kiosk. But um, there was a bit of an error, as you can tell right there. Probably not a smart move for me to attempt to place that on a lot that already has a high chance of breaking. But eventually I did settle for the cotton candy kiosk and then eventually a Coca-Cola and a Pepsi machine, both in their lovable, lovable Fruit of Your Aero styles. I'm also adding on some of the, um, what was it again? Oh, automatic cash registers to the um, media market too, because I forgot that in episode nine. But anyways, that's going to just about do it for this episode. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. Have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you might be.